down. Hey, doodle, doodle, there comes a rabbit. The cow jumps higher than me. The little girl laughs to see the crown and let it on the way with spoon. has gone. When the virus has gone we will have so much fun. I can do my hair and go to the fun fair. We can play all day at soft play. I can't wait to see all my friends at school. It will be really really cool. The end. Hi I'm going to sing you a poem today and welcome to my performance. It's called Midnight the Kitten and Monty the Pup. There was a little kitten, her name was Midnight. She doesn't like water by lifting her high. When she's scared to run away and Monty tries to play with her and get her to stay. Poor little pup Monty, just so lonely, just because he's big and bony. Cheeky Monty just wants to have fun and Midnight's not too so sure, so off she runs. One day Midnight and Monty will be friends. It will be a long time. Well, I guess it just depends. I have a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and gobbled up all the soap. And when he tried to talk, he had bubbles in his throat. Teacher, who was so strict, you weren't allowed to breathe in her lessons. She used to stand at the front going, No, no breathing! breathing. And you had the whole morning to get through. Ah! The weak ones just used to keel over and die. You'd hear them going down behind you. And there was always a whiny kid going, Miss, can I go out and do some reading? And she'd say, No, you've got all playtime to do it in. And do you know at the beginning of the week there were 48 kids in my class and at the end of the week there were only five of them left? Oh. Yeah. Do you know at the end of the day you'd be stepping over kids just to get out of the room? Oh no, there's Melanie. That's a shame. She was really nice. There's Dave. Yeah. Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. Do you know, people say to me, if that's true, how come you're here to tell the tale? Fair enough, I'll tell, and I'll tell you. It's because when I was at school, we used to sit at desks. We didn't sit around the tables like you do now. We used to sit at desks with lids. And some of us figured out what you had to do was snatch a quick breath under the lit desk lid when she wasn't looking. So once more from the beginning, no breathing! Ah, the weak ones. The whiny ones. Miss, can I go out and do some breathing? No, you've got all playtime to do it in. <coughs> oh. Bogies by Uncle Monty, age 10. Maybe I'll be sick. Maybe I'm not. Will it be dry or covered in snot? 
Maybe I'll wipe the tongue with the chair. Or maybe I'll lick it in David's hair. Up goes my finger with precision and care. Up the corner, round the bend, maybe slurping there. Out comes my finger, but what can I say? For up in my nose, the bogey still lay. I'm going to perform a poem called It's Spring by Winifred Mott. Goodbye snow, goodbye ice, though of course you're very nice. I'm glad you've gone away, even though it's this fine spring day. Here's my good old batting ball. Marbles too. How are you all? I'm sure that I can play now most any day. Goodbye winter, that was true. I've had lots of fun with you. Now I can just shout and sing. I'm so glad because it's spring. Hi, I'm May from 4MW and I'm going for the grand final in the Poetry Slam with my poem called The Perfect Portrait. I was quite inspired, but I became very tired. I waited for a week, then my house had a leak. I drew and drew, and then I didn't have a clue of what I was drawing in the first place. I began t to pace. Yes, I got it. The idea just came to me. Wait a second. I need a ring. Oh yes, the idea. It was very, very clear. I needed to do a portrait. I began to draw and paint, but my lines were very faint. Uh-oh, the art show! I'm going to be late! But I just ate. I set off for the run. I stopped to get a bun. I got there just in time. Then I said my line. I won! Yes! I thought mine was the best. Homework, I homework by Jack Prelatsky. Homework, I homework, I hate you, you stick. I wish I could wash you away and you sing. If only a bomb explode you to fits. Homework, I homework, you're giving me fits. I'd rather take bath than you with Manny to chuck or wrestle a line alone in the dark. He's finished in the dark, that Sam Porcupine, and tackle the homework, my teacher would say. Homework, I homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework, I homework, I hate you, you stink. Since it was my mum's birthday this week, I created a poem and wrote it in her card. It's called Mummy by Benjamin Evans. My mum's amazing. My mum's the best. She's so smart. She can easily conquer a test. My mum's so pretty. I love her hair. She's the best mum ever. No mum can compare. My mum is so fun. My mum is so kind. My mum is so special. She's worth all the mums combined. My mum helps me when I'm in trouble. Ow! Mum! My mum, she's great and she's very cool. She's so friendly without a doubt. My perfect mum. She's beautiful. Hello, and the title is Pink. When you see the colour pink, what do you think? Socks, bikes, shirts. Anything can be pink. Pink can be magical with all shapes and sizes, and even sometimes it can be sunrises. When you see the colour, what do you think? Toys, strawberry milkshakes, my favourite drink. Pink can be on doors, windows and walls, and even on your favourite football. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one steal your dreams, let no one tear apart the burning of ambition that fires the drive inside your heart. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tell you that you can't. Let no one hold you back. Let no one tell you that you won't. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only, lim your, your only limit is the sky. Let no one steal your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. For only when you follow them will you feel truly whole. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. The Last Dragon Beneath a high mountain, inside a dark cave, A crusty old dragon as cold as a grave, Cold as a hive, out in stone head to head, Cold as a gold, but as filled as his bed, 
the last of the dragons will be no more. And slow beats his heart on his glittering store. The beating gets slower as life drifts away. Take a hundred more lifetimes. Just passes a day. At last a low moan where there once was a roar. The last of the dragons is breathing no more.